Let's talk about Kyle David Smain, the American freestyle skier who made quite a name for himself in the world of skiing. In 2015, he achieved a remarkable feat by winning a gold medal in halfpipe at the FIS Freestyle Ski and Snowboarding World Championships. Kyle David Smain's talent and dedication were evident as he soared through the air, executing incredible tricks and maneuvers with precision. His passion for freestyle skiing propelled him to reach new heights and become a force to be reckoned with in the sport. On January 29, 2023, tragedy struck on Mount Norikura in Nagano, Japan. Smain was in Nagano for a business trip promoting Icon Pass and Nagano Tourism when he met with an unfortunate fate while enjoying some freestyle skiing on the last day of his trip. He was caught in an avalanche and passed away. He was 31 years old. Jorge Ballesteros Fernandez, a Spanish sports shooter, has left an impressive mark in the world of shooting. In the 2017 IPSC Handgun World Shoot, he clinched the gold medal overall in the Open Division. Not only has Jorge excelled on a global stage, but he has also dominated at a European level. He proudly boasts two European Handgun Championship Open Division gold medals from 2013 and 2016. On top of his international triumphs, Jorge has been a force to reckon with in his home country of Spain. With an impressive record of winning the Spanish Handgun Championship, not once or twice, but 12 times, he solidified himself as one of the world's most accomplished shooters. On January 11, 2023, it was announced that Ballesteros had been found in his car with a gunshot wound to his head. He was rushed to the hospital but died from his injuries. He was 39. All right, let's dive into the world of professional wrestling and talk about Jamin Dale Pugh, or as many fans know him, Jay Briscoe. He's an American wrestler who made quite a name for himself in the industry. Jay Briscoe was best known for his tag team partnership with his brother Mark Briscoe as the formidable Briscoe brothers in Ring of Honor, ROH. Together, they have achieved incredible success and have become fan favorites. In his time with ROH, Jay Briscoe has held the prestigious ROH World Championship not once but twice. That's no small feat. On top of that, he has an impressive record of being a 13-time ROH World Tag Team Champion alongside his brother Mark. Jay Briscoe died in a car crash in Laurel, Delaware on January 17th, 2023 at the age of 38 when a Chevrolet Silverado 1500 being driven in the opposite direction of Pew's Chevrolet Silverado 2500 unexpectedly crossed the center line and collided with his vehicle head on. Anton Charles Walks was an English professional footballer winning the EFL trophy in 2019. In 2022, Walks was signed by Charlotte FC, where he continued to showcase his skills on the field. Unfortunately, tragedy struck just a year later. On 18th of January, 2023, Walks was in Miami, Florida, where Charlotte FC was holding a 12-day training camp. At around 3 p.m. Eastern time, he was injured in a two-boat collision near Miami Marine Stadium. He was taken to hospital where he died from his injuries the following morning at the age of 25. Volkan Karaman, a name that resonates in the world of soccer. Hailing from Austria, Karaman's talent on the field was undeniable. His skills and passion for the game propelled him to great heights, earning him recognition and admiration from fans worldwide. But his contributions to soccer didn't stop there. After hanging up his cleats, he transitioned into coaching and management roles, bringing his wealth of experience and knowledge to guide aspiring players towards success. Unfortunately, his story took a tragic turn on the 8th of February, 2023. At the age of 43, Karaman was shot by his former friend, Orhan, after an argument broke out in Vienna, Austria. Let's dive into the exciting career of Craig Breen. Known for his incredible talent and passion for rallying, Craig Breen has made a name for himself in the motorsport world. With his impressive skills behind the wheel, he has left a lasting impact on the rally racing scene. He won the 2012 Super 2000 WRC, scoring class wins in the Monte Carlo Rally, Wales Rally GB, Rally France, and the Rally of Spain. Breen won the WRC Academy Cup in 2011, and he won the 2021 Rentokill Historic Rally.
Breen died on 13th of April, 2023, age 33, after a crash during a testing session for the 2023 Croatia rally. Uh, the front left of his car collided with a pole on a road, and he was fatally injured. Let's talk about Tori Bowie, the incredible Olympic track and field athlete who made a name for herself at the 2016 Rio Olympics. Representing Team USA, Tori won not just one, but two medals in her events. She sprinted her way to a silver medal in the 100-meter race and grabbed a bronze in the 200-meter race. Unfortunately, tragedy struck as Tori suffered complications from childbirth, leading to her untimely passing on May 2, 2023, at the young age of 32. Let's talk about Patrick Gasienica, the talented ski jumper who represented Team USA at the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. Patrick made quite a name for himself in the world of winter sports. As an athlete, Patrick showcased his talent and determination on the slopes, competing against some of the best ski jumpers from around the globe. Tragically, his life was cut short on June 12, 2023, at the young age of 24. He sustained fatal injuries in a motorcycle accident that occurred in Bull Valley, Illinois. His untimely passing left the sports world mourning the loss of a promising athlete. All right, let's talk about Ryan Mallett's career. Ryan Mallett is a former professional football player who played as a quarterback in the NFL. He had quite an interesting journey throughout his career. Mallett began his college football career at the University of Michigan, where he showcased his strong arm and impressive throwing abilities. After spending two seasons with the Wolverines, he transferred to the University of Arkansas, where he continued to excel on the field. In 2011, Mallett declared for the NFL draft and was selected by the New England Patriots in the third round. He served as a backup quarterback behind Tom Brady for three seasons, learning from one of the best in the game. After his time with the Patriots, Mallett had stints with several teams, including the Houston Texans and Baltimore Ravens. Mallett drowned in Destin, Florida on June 27, 2023, at the age of 35. According to the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office, Mallett was unable to make it to the safety of a sandbar drowning while swimming with his girlfriend. The National Weather Service warned of rip currents around beaches in the Destin area, which were under yellow flag conditions at the time of the tragedy. Let's dive into the world of Mikala Jones, a legendary Hawaiian professional surfer. Born and raised in Hawaii, Mikala's passion for surfing was ignited from an early age. He quickly made a name for himself in the surfing community by showcasing his exceptional skills and natural talent. After dominating the amateur circuit and winning two national championships, Mikala made the leap to the professional level. This marked a turning point in his career as he embarked on a journey to compete against some of the best surfers in the world. Tragically, on July 9, 2023, at the age of 44, Mikala Jones passed away while pursuing his passion in the Mentawai Islands in Indonesia. Reports suggest that he suffered a severe injury to his femoral artery while riding the waves. Let me introduce you to Magnus White, a talented athlete who made his mark as a member of USA Cycling's junior men's national team. Magnus White's dedication and passion for cycling propelled him to great heights in the competitive world of cycling. As a member of the junior men's national team, White showcased his exceptional skills and determination on the racetrack. With his impressive performances, he has become an inspiration for aspiring cyclists across the country. Magnus, a talented cyclist and member of USA Cycling's junior men's national team, tragically lost his life on July 30th, 2023. At just 17 years old, he was struck by a car while riding in his hometown of Boulder, Colorado. Let's talk about Alex Collins, the talented football running back who made his mark in both the Seattle Seahawks and Baltimore Ravens. This guy knew how to bring the heat on the field. Alex Collins showcased his skills as a running back, leaving fans in awe with his speed, agility, and determination. Starting off with the Seattle Seahawks, Collins quickly became a fan favorite with his explosive runs and ability to break through defenses. His performance caught the attention of the Baltimore Ravens, where he continued to shine and make significant contributions to the team's success. Collins died in a traffic collision in Lauderdale Lakes, Florida, on the evening of August 13, 2023. 
when the motorcycle that he was riding crashed into the rear passenger side of an SUV at high speed. He was pronounced dead at the scene, and it was later reported that he likely died instantly. Let's take a closer look at Nick Cardilla's career journey. Nick, a talented professional athlete who had an eventful career filled with accomplishments and experiences. Nick is widely recognized for his skills in the world of ice hockey. He started making waves early on in his career, playing for the U.S. National Team Development Program and earning recognition as one of the top prospects. Moving on to collegiate hockey, Nick played for the University of Wisconsin Badgers, where he showcased his exceptional talent. His performances caught the attention of NHL scouts, leading to him being drafted by the Anaheim Ducks in 2012. Nick died in a motorcycle accident on September 23, 2023 in Nashville, Tennessee, at the age of 29. According to the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department, Nick was driving his Indian motorcycle when he allegedly drove through a stop sign and hit the driver's side of a BMW SUV at 3 in the morning. Police confirmed that he was transported to Vanderbilt University Medical Center, where he later died from his injuries. DJ Hayden, the former cornerback, made his mark in the NFL during his career with the Oakland Raiders. Known for his agility and speed on the field, Hayden proved to be a formidable opponent for any wide receiver. During his time with the Raiders, Hayden showcased his exceptional skills and contributed to the team's defensive strategy. His ability to anticipate plays and make crucial interceptions earned him recognition among football enthusiasts. Hayden died as a result of a traffic collision in Houston on November 11, 2023 at the age of 33. He and two former University of Houston players were among six fatalities when a car ran a red light at 2 a.m. local time and struck the SUV in which Hayden was a passenger. Kenneth Block was an American professional rally driver with the Hoonigan Racing Division. Block was also one of the co-founders of DC Shoes. He competed in many action sports events, including skateboarding, snowboarding, and motocross. After selling his ownership of DC Shoes, Block shifted his business focus to Hoonigan Industries, an apparel brand for auto enthusiasts. He was the co-owner and head Hoonigan in charge, HHIC, at the company before his death in a snowmobile accident on January 2, 2023. Anton Walks, an English soccer player for Charlotte FC, tragically lost his life on January 19, 2023, at the young age of 25. He sustained fatal injuries in a boating accident. Now we added a few notable sports deaths from 2023 that, while they may not have died tragically, their deaths are still tragic. These are the ones that viewers have specifically requested to be included. So without further ado, let's dive in and look at these unforgettable individuals. Following in the footsteps of his father, Evil Knievel, Robbie captivated audiences around the globe with his death-defying motorcycle jumps and thrilling stunts. He fearlessly pushed the boundaries of what was deemed possible and became an icon in his own right. Sadly, on January 13, 2023, at the age of 60, Robbie passed away after a courageous battle with cancer. Gino Ogic was a Canadian professional ice hockey left winger who played 12 seasons in the National Hockey League, NHL, from 1990 to 2002 for the Vancouver Canucks, New York Islanders, Philadelphia Flyers, and Montreal Canadiens. Of Algonquin heritage, he was known as an enforcer during his playing career, earning him the nicknames Algonquin Assassin and Maniwaki Mahler, died January 15, 2023, at the age of 52. During his career, Nate Colbert played as a first baseman and outfielder for various teams in Major League Baseball, MLB. He made his debut in 1966 with the Houston Astros and went on to play for teams like the San Diego Padres, Detroit Tigers, Montreal Expos, and Oakland Athletics. Colbert's most memorable season came in 1972 when he played for the Padres. He hit an incredible 38 home runs that year, setting a franchise record that still stands today. In fact, he became the first player in MLB history to hit five home runs in a doubleheader during that same season. Chris Ford, a legendary figure in the world of basketball, left an indelible mark on the sport through his remarkable career as both a player and coach. He was best known for his time with the iconic Boston Celtics. However, 
It is with heavy hearts that we share the news of his passing on January 17th, 2023, at the age of 74. Stanley Wilson Jr. was a professional football player who made a name for himself during his career with the Detroit Lions. However, his life was tragically cut short on February 1st, 2023, at the young age of 40, while in police custody. Elena Fancini, an Italian World Cup alpine ski racer, will always be remembered for her incredible talent and passion for the sport. Sadly, on February 8th, 2023, at the age of 37, she lost her battle with cancer. Bobby Hall, the legendary Canadian ice hockey player, left an indelible mark on the sport during his extensive career with the Chicago Blackhawks organization. Sadly, on January 30th, 2023, at the age of 84, the Stanley Cup champion passed away, leaving behind a legacy that will forever be remembered in the hearts of hockey fans worldwide.